This is a 1972 Pantera de Tommaso uh, from Italy. It's uh, got 15,500 miles. Uh, we've done a bunch of work to this car. It's got all new suspension, new brakes, new tires, new rims, stainless steel exhaust. Um, we've upgraded the motor, new clutch, pressure plate, throwout bearing racing clutch, a billet aluminum flywheel. Me and Emilio's just going out for a ride today. Beautiful day here in the state of Colorado. We want to come out and take the shot today. I show you a little bit about my Pantera, my 72 Pantera. So this is uh this all got a new cooling system in it, all stainless steel all the way back. Or I'm but sorry, polished stainless all the way back. Uh, we run, redone all the trunk area, all new carpet. Uh, everything's brand new on this car. Said we've done everything to this car, all new urethane bushings, everything's been pow powder coated near chrome, all the A-arms, everything completely dismantled on the suspension of this car. Custom built uh, upper A-arms in the back, they're adjustable, uh, had, had those made because uh, when these cars were built they only had set, set, you know, the tires were only so wide on them. Now we can put some big 335s on the back and that helps keep them in adjustment. So some, just some extra stuff that we've done to make this car ride better. Oil gauge, your window gauges, your, your uh, headlights. This is a fan for your uh, heater and your air conditioning. This is your both your windows. And this is your dome light for right here. And this here I, is my, uh, I could turn my fan on even when it's not hot enough for it to kick on. Like on a hot day, if I want to start just keeping it cooler a little sooner, I could flip this switch right here and it kicks my fans on. But yeah, we're going to go a little mountain ride here. I just wanted to share a little bit with you guys today about the Pantera. It's a... Uh, very rare car and uh, bring Emilio out, take him for a little cruise. It's got about 450, 475 horsepower. It's, it's got a small cam in it, so I like to keep it just stock, you know, kind of stock. I mean, it's got a lot of upgrades, but the stock appearance to the car. So everything in here has been upgraded, all new interior, um, hidden stereo system. So, um, new cooling system, everything, new steering. So we've done some thanks to it. No airbags. <laughs> we won't need them, we're good. No airbags in this car. The top doesn't come off, but this was custom put in in the 80s. Okay. It's, just a, it's just a sunroof, we can lift up a little air. Oh, great. Little air through, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's kind of cool. You don't see many Panteras with the, with the uh, sunroof in it. So it's air conditioning, all electric, uh, electric windows, uh, got Vader headlights in it. We upgraded the headlights. Okay. So um, it runs super great. Uh, just put a uh, new Proform carburetor on it. So it's running really, really good right now. And it's, it's hard in the elevation here in Colorado. It's a 30 year old paint job. I don't think it is the original color. I think it was a silver, but this is more of a, more of a grayish silver so it's a 30 year old paint job though it was painted back in the 80s as far as i know it hasn't been repainted since this car is rust free rust free pantera um, doesn't overheat stops on a dime it's got a wheel brake system on it so we did a lot of extra little stuff faster window cranks we upgraded a lot of stuff in it because when they built this car from the factory, they were in a hurry to build these cars. In here just turned 15.5, and them, them are supposed to be original miles, but um, I got all the paperwork. I got the bill of sale and the uh, odometer affidavit, but uh, you never know in these old cars, you know, you never know. But it's it's real well taken care of whoever owned it, uh, previous of the guy I bought it from. So um, it was restored in the 80s. I picked it up in Reno, Nevada. 
and a guy had it for five or six years out there. So, um, but it's been rebuilt. Dennis Koala did all the work on it. It was Pantera Performance Center in Castle Rock. So we did a lot of upgrading on this car. And that's the, that's the roar of the 351 right there. This makes the people in their 50s go back in time, but this is a Pantera de Tomaso. They built them in, from 71 through 74, they were imported from uh, Madonna, Italy. And Lee Iacocca, I don't know if you know who Lee Iacocca is, but he was a big head honcho of Chrysler, Ford. Well, back in the early 70s, he uh, sent the power plants, which is the 351 Cleveland, to uh, Madonna, Italy, so they could, that powered the de Tomaso Panteras. Um, and that was the power plant, so they could compete against Ferrari, Lamborghini, and uh, and then the Ford uh, GTs. So, this, I, like I said, I've had Corvettes, and uh, I've had you know some cars over the years, '69 Camaro SS, and this car right here, people just are wondering what this car is. You know, they just don't know especially the younger generation. Maybe about 10, 12 miles to the gallon if I'm lucky. Okay. I just put some gas, I'll only run high tests through it. And when I had my fuel injected Pantera, that's all we could run through it was high test or uh, racing fuel, so. Yeah, since we put a new cooling system in, it hardly ever goes over 190 now. It stays nice and cool, especially when you're in the mountains and uh, nice drives in the mountains. It stays nice running, nice and cool, so. It runs the best in this altitude, you know? A lot of people have problems with carburetors running the right way in altitude, so this car runs really good. I took a Holly off of this and put the Pro Form on it. It runs so, a lot better. It's newer. It's uh, got got a lot different. Uh, it's an automatic choke. A lot of things work better. Look at this mountains, man. Dennis did a nice job with the cooling system in this car. It's got a high velocity water pump in it. It's got 12 or 13 fins. I think it's 12 fins versus the original water pump. It probably only had four or five fins in it circulates the water faster. It's got a brand new upgraded uh, double sucker fans with, uh, I believe it's a three core aluminum Pantera Performance radiator. Uh, like I said, Pantera Performance done a lot of the work on this car. It's pretty smooth for a 45-year-old car, huh? This is a different animal. This car, the clutch and the brake are so close together in this car that you actually got to really know how to drive it, practice a little bit when you start to drive it. Okay. It's a very small car. I was intimidated the very first time I got in a cockpit of a Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Well, I'm glad we could do this today. This was fun.